Hey everyone, it's Erica. I just popped in for a really, really quick video. Um, you know, I made a promise that I was gonna start doing videos twice a week. Um, so this is my Sunday video. Y'all, two things. Stop giving people the opportunity to hurt you twice. I uh, talked about this in my morning motivation, I think Tuesday or Wednesday this week, but I wanted to do a recap on it. Y'all, when you carry good fruits, you have to be mindful of people who carry bad fruits. You have to be able to decipher who's good for your spirit and who's not good for your spirit. The Bible tells us bad company corrupts good character. So you can't be in the presence of people and they're carrying bad fruit and you have good fruit and expect not to pick up some of their habits, to pick up some of their ways. It's okay if it's your family members. It's okay if it's some people that you used to be friends with. But you need to learn how to separate yourself so they won't contaminate your good fruit. That's just like you put um, a good banana in a basket and a bad banana in a basket. That good banana is going to eventually rot. So be mindful who you are allowing in your spirit. Be mindful who you're surrounding yourself with. Birds of a feather flock together. My grandma used to always tell me that I never understood it. I never, you know, comprehended at that moment. I'm like, grandma, just because they're bad, I can make my own decisions. This is not going to make me bad. But y'all. When you hang with somebody and they have bad uh, habits, bad ways, you're going to eventually pick them up. It may be slowly, but you're going to eventually pick them up. I've been around some people, and I don't curse a lot, y'all, but I've been around people who curse a lot, and I notice myself just cursing and cursing or, you know, just doing stuff that I normally wouldn't do because it was the product of my environment. Nothing's wrong with it because, you know, people cuss all the time. But that was just an example that I saw within myself. Um, another thing, y'all, be mindful. Be mindful how you treat yourself. Other people see you how you see yourself. So be kind to yourself. Stop saying negative things about yourself. Stop talking down on yourself. Stop focusing on what you can't do. Start focusing on what you can do. If you don't think you're great, how can you expect everyone around you to think you're great? You should think that you are that and all you're all of that in a bag of chips. My mama used to always say that. And I used to say, mama, no, that's being cocky. No, that's being confident. It's a difference between cocky and confident and we all should be confident and secure within ourselves stop allowing people to make you feel bad for you know being confident in yourself um people love to look down on you when you're confident it's okay to be confident i say that to men and women because i'm gonna also post this video on my youtube not just my girl talk it's okay to be confident you need to start seeing yourself how God sees you. Y'all, God created us all as a masterpiece. He didn't make any mistakes when he created me. He didn't make any um, mistakes when he created you. And we must remember that going, through, going out life. You are exactly where God wants you to be. In this season, it may hurt like hell. It may hurt. Uh, you may feel like you're not going to come out of this season, y'all. But God has you there for a reason. I don't know the reason. You may not know the reason at the moment. But you have to take peace and comfort and know that God has you there for a reason. So never feel like your life is a mistake. Never feel like you've made too many mistakes that God can't, you know, redeem. You can't redeem yourself. God is a God of second chances, y'all. And believe it or not, we think the things that God sent to us that we go through, we think it's from the devil. Sometimes God takes us through those things. I was in TJ Maxx today, and I seen my saying, go, grow through what you go through. And I was like, wow, that's what I always tell people. Grow what you go through. And those things that are that, that season that you're in right now, God has you there for a reason. And don't don't get jealous when you see someone else blessed. Don't uh, start feeling bad when you feel like things aren't going your way. God has you exactly where he wants you. What's for you is for you. You can do anything in the world. You cannot mess it up. If God has your name on it, nobody can take it. You can make a million mistakes and God is still going to give it to you in his timing. That's the part as humans we have a hard time understanding. 
Yes, God said he came so we can have life and have it more abundantly, but we have to wait for his timing, not our timing. And when it's time for us to get things, that's when God will release them to, to us. But you must be kind to yourself in this healing season. Whatever season you're in in your life, be kind to yourself. Because if you're not kind to yourself, how can you expect other people to be kind? Uh, my life coach, she told me, she said, people treat you exactly how you treat yourself so you have to treat yourself with love respect kindness you have to be patient with yourself and know that god created you that you are fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of god he sees you as a masterpiece and if you start seeing yourself there you will start to attract good things what you put out come back to you so if you wake up with a, a good mood happy energy just a you know an all around happy person good things and happiness is going to come to you you are what you attract you see yourself how people see you how you see yourself and as humans we 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 don't elaborate on that enough we always you know try to take the negative we look at ourselves and say i can be better than this i can be better than that but sometimes you have to take a step back and say you know what i'm proud of myself i am moving to another level i'm i'm going where god wants me to go and be kind to yourself make sure make sure that when you're elevating in your life and you're growing that people that are that surround you have the same mindset as you they have the same values they have the same goals because if not you will clash with those people i was looking at a um quote on facebook the other day and it was saying how they were friends with some certain people and it seems like the friendship was just drifting apart and I think it was it was something like this, like the f friendship was drifting apart. And it was like, this is someone right here. And this is a friend. And if you go come back down, you're luring yourself to meet them. So if this person wants to meet you, they need to come up to where you are. And I was like, wow, that's awesome. And for me, I've noticed that, you know, it's some people that I was close to um, years ago. And I'm just like, wow, I haven't talked to those people in years and do I need to meet them where they are or do they need to meet me where I am? And sometimes I may need to meet people where they are. I'm not perfect. I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm, you know, always right. So I have to take a look back at myself and say, you know what? Do I need to meet them where they are or do they need to meet me where I am? And I challenge you to do that. Take a step back and see if the people around you are pouring into you. If the people around you are good they, are they carrying good fruits? Y'all, because you do not want to be contaminated by people who hinder your growth. You don't want to be contaminated by bad spirits. Life is too short for that. And y'all, I always tell you, God sometimes hold blessings back from you because of the people you surround yourself with. I'm going to say this and I'm going to leave because I'm getting a little happy. Do you remember when Jesus went to heal the little girl? They thought she was dead. What did God do? He made everybody in that room get out before he woke the little girl up. Sometimes you got to check your circle before God can elevate you. Don't hinder yourself. Don't stay in the same season that you're in because you want to stay friends with this certain person or you want to lay with this certain person. You want to talk to this certain guy. You want to talk to this certain girl. I'm telling y'all something I know. God couldn't bless me because I held on to this certain person for so many years. I didn't want to let them go. I didn't tell God that, you know, have, you know, have your way in my life, God, because I knew that if I told God that he would remove this certain person. And so I was so comfortable and content with this person that I was willing to hinder my growth. I was willing to stay in the season that I was in. And truth be told, I wasn't happy, y'all. I was just there. I had good days, but I wasn't happy. I'm not, I wasn't as happy as I am today. So I, I challenge you, if you know it's someone that needs, you need to let go, you need to ask God to give you the strength to walk away. Whether it's a friend, whether it's a man or it's a woman, so you can get all the blessings that God wants for you. And I remember telling somebody this, God is not going to bless me until I let this certain person go or until I let this certain situation go, y'all. And I did that. I had to cry many nights. I had to pray many nights. And then finally, I said, you know what? I'm crying. <laughs> I'm crying anyway, so I might as well let go and let God have, have his way in my life. And y'all, he has blessed 
blessed me so much. When I tell you God is awesome, I was in a horrible spot six months ago, but it was nothing but the grace of God that killed me. So I'm here telling you something that I know. I'm not telling you anything my mama told me. I'm not telling you anything my grandma told me. I'm not telling you anything anyone told me. I'm telling you something that I have lived through. It was something that I went through. I had to go through to grow. So I pray y'all have an awesome day. I love y'all. I just wanted to come in and drop some quick words in. If y'all need anything, DM me on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. Please, please, please go to my YouTube channel. Um, I think it's just called Erica James. I'm going to drop the uh, link below. Please go subscribe to my YouTube channel, y'all. This is all new to me. I don't know how to edit videos. So if I make mistakes when I'm talking, just please, please take it for love because I can. I don't know how to go back and, you know, take the mistakes out. I don't know how to edit the videos because um, I do work a full-time job and it's kind of, you know, it's. I have a very, very... Um, high demand job and very stressful so I do try to get my videos in when I can but please please go subscribe to my YouTube page um, and if y'all need anything y'all know how to reach out to me if you have my personal cell phone number feel free to text me but if not inbox me uh, via social media I pray y'all have a blessed and awesome day I love y'all